Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the newly announced Raspberry Pi 4. Let's get started. All right, so if you have not heard today, the Raspberry Pi Foundation announced the Raspberry Pi 4. And I took a quick look at the specs, and boy, oh boy, this looks amazing. So let's go over the information that we know so far. First and foremost, it starts out at $35, which is the original price of the Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, the 3B, the 2, you name it, it started out at $35. But it's not just $35. So if you want the one gigabyte of RAM, base edition of the four, then it is 35. If you want the two gigabyte version of the four, it is more than that. There's also a four gigabyte RAM version of this, and that's pretty huge. So the Raspberry Pi Foundation were worried people might be upset that it's going over the price of $35. However, offering four gigabytes of RAM is pretty massive. On top of that, if we take a look at everything that they're outlining in this image here, it's going to have USB-C, right? There are two micro HDMI port, so not a full-size HDMI, but a micro HDMI. They support up to two 4K displays, which is massive. It's got USB 2, it has USB 3, it's got gigabit Ethernet, and on top of that, they have upgraded the processor. Now, being able to output to dual displays at 4K, well, I can tell you right now, my actual full-blown PC can't do that. 4K output and two of them is pretty massive for such a little board. But I will say I'm going to guess that performance might suffer a little bit if you have two displays running at 4K off this little board. Now, if you're doing one display at 4K, more than likely you're probably going to get some better results. So looking at the technical specs in detail, uh, this BCM2711 is an upgrade over the Pi 3B+. Plus. The RAM is also DDR4 as opposed to DDR2, which is a massive upgrade. So not only can you get the option to have more RAM, it's also considerably faster. I can see Bluetooth has been upgraded to 5.0, but there's also something to take note of here. So it says 5 volt DC via USB-C connector, minimum of 3 amp. There's a star beside it because it says a good quality 2.5 amp power supply can be used if downstream USB peripherals consume less than 500 milliamps in total. So what I will say on this is you're probably going to want a 3 amp uh, power supply. And also another perk is that all software for the 4 is going to be backward compatible. So that's pretty awesome. So anything that's developed for the Pi 4 will be compatible with the 3B Plus or the 3. So you don't necessarily have to upgrade if you don't want to. Based on these specifications alone, I will say that there is a massive chance that this will emulate games. If you're using this as a gaming console, like a retro gaming console, retro Pi, I'm going to do that. Um, it's probably going to perform a heck of a lot better. There's more RAM available, the processor is stronger. And if you're using this as a media, just a complete media center, people run Kodi on it, then definitely yes. This supports up to 4K, so definitely yes, this would be an almost must buy, especially with the additional processing power and RAM. And if you look at the differences between the one, two and four gig of RAM, so the one gig of RAM is sitting at 35 bucks here, two gigs of RAM is 45, so an extra 10 bucks and you are doubling the amount of RAM that's available to you, an extra 20 bucks on the initial price, so $55, you are getting four gigs of RAM. For me, the four gig model is a no brainer. Now, if you can't afford the 4 gig model or aren't interested in it, I would say the 2 gig or the 1 gig versions are also okay. There are a lot of extra features on the Pi 4, and I'm certain that you'll be able to see a benefit over the 3. Did I pre-order a Raspberry Pi 4? Yes, I did. I pre-ordered the 4 gigabyte of RAM model. I will be testing it out with RetroPie, especially once they make optimizations for the Pi 4. I'm also going to be testing it out with Raspbian just to see how it works as a regular desktop computer. I think the extra RAM is really going to help it out here. Now, in terms of cases, I know for a fact that most cases that have the specific cutouts for the Pi 4 probably won't fit. 
For example, my favorite case, the Flerk case, is not going to fit on this new Pi 4. There will have to be an update to that, and I'm almost certain that they will update it. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get away with using this. I don't know if you can see it on my screen too well here, but it's an open air case. There are no cutouts really for any of the ports. It's just completely open. If these posts are all in the same location, it's just, this has a little fan. Everything should be fine. I'm really curious to see what everyone thinks of the Pi 4. I'm ecstatic. I think the improvements here are massive. This is definitely worth a number change from three to four. So let me know what you think about this. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Is it missing anything you wish it had? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really, really curious. But that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you, everyone. Take care.